James Monis, we have Joseph Drawing. This is Premier Chablis Crew. Stay tuned. So here we go. I think this is an absolutely delightful wine and one where I treasure completely because I think Chablis is at uh, the real deal uh, Chardonnay only region on the planet. And it's not just Chardonnay for Chardonnay's sake. It really is coming down to the equation of just being in the right place at the right time, a very fine climate. So Burgundy, southeast of Chablis, you're gonna have Champagne, which is in the northeast. And so everything is very close by, very related in terms of Chardonnay being that key wine variety. I always say on delicate varieties in terms of, uh, when I think of Chardonnay, it's not necessarily delicate. It can really uh, experience a higher alcohol point, but in my opinion, it's really best in a say 12 to 13 range and maybe slightly higher than that. I think you're, you know, alcohol is really influential and I think a lot of people don't, ex you know, think alcohol does anything except to maybe, you know, increase how much alcohol in your system. So the palate is completely influenced in my opinion uh, in terms of a higher alcohol point. I've tasted many of 14.6, seven, eight. Uh, I don't think I've tasted any 15% Chardonnays yet, but I'm sure they're coming. So the point score, 94 points out of 100 points. So your limestone is really the keystone here. Amerigian limestone, that is really the dominant soil content. So it expresses beautifully in minerality to this wine. So first of all, the uh, scent characterization is really that, you know, Buddha hands. So there's mainly, when you look at a Buddha hand, uh, it looks very strange, uh, but ultimately the smell of it is fantastic. People use it for baking. There's really no pulp to it. It's just really that peel, uh, but it really does have a fantastic harmonized, beautiful, almost semi-exotic yellow citrus characterization. Additionally on this, I get notes of beeswax, white flowers, and oyster shell. Next, the uh, palate characterization. Gorgeous, beautiful. I love Chablis in the winter time. I like it year round, but for the autumnal winter season, it's really my go-to for seafood. It's for chicken, it's for white pasta dish, and as well as a standalone wine. It's fantastically beautiful, gorgeous. So um, palette on this is dried pear, heirloom apple, a bit of beeswax on this, as well as that crushed oyster shell. So giving that deep sense of minerality, bit of salinity, but really the, the dominant note here is that beautiful mineral characterization. Uh, 94 points out of 100 points, fantastic wine, uh, beautiful characterization to enjoy with Thanksgiving, hint, hint, and uh, to enjoy with seafood. So if you're gonna have um, oysters, which I do quite often, I often enjoy with champagne, but sometimes I need to break out of that just a bit. And sometimes I'll, in that same setting, I will do a champagne and a Chablis as well. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you joining in today. More wine reviews to come. 2018 has many wines at my tasting table. The like button's down below, so please hit that button. Questions and comments can be listed there as well. And right up here is the subscribe button. So please hit that button. And the reason to do so is very simple. You're gonna see the latest videos that I am producing. I do a lot of videos, so I don't expect you to see each and every one of them, but pick and choose what you wanna see. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. Sante.